learn the way that's best for you. So, like, there's not one right or wrong way to gain information. If you gain the information, you gain the information. So, for so many years, I guess it's the older generation thinks that reading a book is the only way to gain the information when audiobooks exist, and they've existed for a long time, right? So, because, like, when I was a kid, I remember there was audiobooks on, like, the tapes, so it's not like there was Audible, but like there was the tapes. But Audible exists, as well as you can just look up audiobooks, and a lot of times you can find certain audiobooks on YouTube or on the internet, right? And just listen to the audiobook. I feel like that's looked down upon, though, in the world we live in today. Or it's always been looked down upon when I don't, when I feel like it shouldn't because everyone learns differently. So, like, it's this thing that reminds me of the if you see, ask someone to envision a red apple, everyone's going to envision the red apple slightly differently, right? Some people can see it vividly, other people see it slightly vividly, other people see it blurry, and some people don't see it at all. If you ask them to envision a red apple, they can't envision a red apple at all. So, I feel like it's the same thing with reading. So, for me, when I was a kid, like, I had, like, kind of like a reading disorder. This is why I didn't read. Because if you give me a chapter book, like, I can read research papers and, like, articles and things like that if it's, like, not a giant chapter book. But if you give me a chapter book, by the time I'm on chapter three, I forgot what happened on chapter one... And on top of that, when I'm reading, I have to read a sentence multiple times. When I was a kid, everyone thought I was just a slow reader, and I guess I am, but it makes me question, what does it mean to be a slow reader? Like, is everyone who is a slow reader doing what I'm doing? Because what I'm doing is I'm sitting there rereading the sentence so I can comprehend it and then before I move on to the next sentence. So I'll have to reread a sentence multiple times to truly comprehend it. It's why I can read a research paper because it's okay to like reread the sentence multiple times like it's a research paper. It's not gonna affect the thing because if I'm doing that with a chapter book it's just, I'm going to forget what's going on in all these different chapters, so there's no point. But, there's a catch to this. There's a thing. If I listen to the audiobook, I remember the whole thing. Like, I remember the whole thing. And like, just give me the audiobook, let me listen to it one time. I'll tell you the whole entire book, the whole entire story, the whole entire thing. Right? So, like... That's how I intake information the best. I figured that out, and I cultivated that skill. I cultivated my skill to be able to listen to people better, so I can listen and take information in better. I have a stronger attention span when it comes to listening to people, and I have a hard time with sitting down trying to read, not because I can't read, but because there is a... A loss of, I guess there's a loss of return on energy of when I'm trying to read a book compared to when I'm listening to an audiobook. If the audiobook exists, obviously I'd rather listen to the audiobook because I can remember what they say, like when I, when they say it. You know, it's just one of these things. And I've chopped it down to when I'm reading a book, right? The voice in my head that would usually remember like, listen to people, is busy speaking. Like, right now, I'm speaking. If somebody was trying to talk to me right now as I'm talking right here, I wouldn't be able to know what they said because I'm talking. It's that thing that it's like I'm trying to talk, I'm, I'm reading a book, and I'm talking, and I don't remember what I'm saying because I'm talking. And I don't know. It's like I only have one voice... To be able to listen, and if it's not, if I can't listen, if I'm talking, I can't listen. Even if I'm reading what I'm supposed to be listening to, I have to listen to it. So if somebody reads it to me, or if I listen to an audiobook, I remember the whole thing. That's why my preferred way of intaking information is videos and audiobooks and audio and all this other stuff, like talking, conversations, 
Um, it's just that's how I intake information the best. So I worked on that skill. For the past eight years, I literally, like, one of the practices I made, well, I didn't make it. I just did it, right? So this dude, Bob Proctor, I listened to him talk about there's this practice where if you put a dot on a wall and you basically, you know, at a far enough distance and you learn to stare at that, stare at that dot and you kind of time how long did you stare at the dot the first time without looking away? You know, my first time was like 10 or 15 seconds. You know, I looked at the dot and then I st like I looked away for a second. And I'm like, okay, that was like 10 seconds. <clears throat> so then I improved that skill. I worked on that and improved that to help me improve my focus, which then it helped me improve my focus for many avenues in my life, more than just one, right? For improving my focus with... Uh, being able to learn, right? If I wanted to sit down and learn something, I had enough uh, focus to be able to, and I guess self-discipline, to be able to sit down and try to intake that knowledge and learn that something. And like, you know, it's just the way I learn is usually by listening to people. Um, sometimes I do have to read research papers. Like if I'm trying to learn about molecules or receptors or all this other stuff, so then I would read a research paper. But at the same time, um, there's some research papers where you can, there's like an audio thing where you can listen to the audio of it. But there's also times where that's not available. So then I have to read it. But if I, I can reread a sentence multiple times to get what they're saying on top of then I will research what are they talking about. And like, you know, it's just, it's just this thing where it's like, I figured out how I learn. And we all got to figure out how we learn and this is how we get educated. I feel like the reason why there's so many people in the world uneducated is because every like the world's trying to force everyone to learn one way when it's just about gaining information. It's not about how you gained the information. It's just about you having the information. So like that's why I'm like, well... If you need to read an audio, if you need to listen to an audiobook, do that. And if you, like, can listen to an audiobook better than you can read, then focus on your listening skills. Like, work on your listening skills better. You know, get them, it's like a muscle. If you work on it, it gets stronger. So, like, if that's your thing, work on it. Don't waste your time trying to do something that you're not, that you can't do. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not into basketball or I'm not into sports like that. So it would be a waste of my time to get into sports. I'm into music. I'm into philosophy. I'm into all that. So it was me focusing on that because that's why, like, I know myself. So I knew what I needed to focus on, what I needed to do. And that's the thing I feel like people need to do. Get to know themselves. Figure out what works for you. And then do it.